What's up, guys? We're just hanging around. Ha! Ha! Mm. <laughs> I'm Ace. And I'm Dex. We're exploring. And parkour! Parkour, parkour. Explore with us, friendlings. <laughs> or die. Okay, no, and die. Oh, oh shit. No! no! <laughs> There's a hole on the floor there. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That was great. Um, uh, um, I knew it. Bam. I freaking knew it. Ooh. Hi, Jet. Um, oh, yeah. So, movie, live action Disney movies I'd like to see. Mm -hmm. That they, I want to try to think of ones that they haven't done. Well, they haven't done like Little Mermaid, right? No. Well, but I feel like that'd be kind of funky to do. They are doing it. Oh. Are they? Yes. That one's probably going to be a musical, oh, too. Oh, aren't they going to have, um, Chloe, Chloe Minnan be a Ariel? Yeah, which I think is kind of weird. Because she's pretty. That has nothing to do with pretty. That has nothing. She is a good actress. I just don't see her playing Ariel because of the way her voice sounds when she talks. Mm. And I don't see her. S I don't know it, if she so. sings. Yeah. All right. Maybe she does in this movie. Maybe, because she doesn't really have a singing voice, you know? Oh, At least I don't think she does. Maybe she will in this um, sorority movie. <laughs> really? What was that? That's uh, part two. Yes. Yeah, the neighbor's part two, yeah. Um, I, I don't see her. I don't know. Maybe she'll surprise everyone. Yeah, maybe. I mean, um,. Amanda Seyfried did. In Les Mis? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's true. That is true. Jeez. Um. Actually, that's pretty stupid. I mean, she, she surprised everybody in Mamma Mia. Oh, because she sang in that. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, well, I'm excited to see Emma Watson sing in Beauty and the Beast because I've never heard her sing anything. At all, ever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else? Well, can't uh, go through there. What other. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about Pete's Dragon yet. It looks good. I have no interest in that movie. Neither do I, because. I mean, I liked the old one, but only parts of it. And. <laughs> Have you ever seen the first, the original? Nope. You should watch it sometime. I don't, this is pretty much to me not, it seems like a completely different movie, like a reimagining of it because- Am I supposed to jump and try to hit that line? Nope. I'm supposed to try to get that right? Yeah. Alright. It just, they changed, it seems like they changed so much of the original story that it's not going to be the same movie you really. Said you saw the original, right? Yeah, I have it. Uh, give me a quick summary of what it's about. Okay, so... The kid sees a dragon? No, he... This kid is an orphan. At least from what I remember. Pete is an orphan. And he lives in a forest with this terrible family that I think found him? It's not his family. And they're really ugly, like, forest hillbillies. Yeah. And they live in a swamp, basically. Mm -hmm. And they're really gross, and they, they kind of just treat him like a slave. Mm -hmm. And his, he only has one friend, and it's Elliot the dragon, who has tiny, tiny wings, and like, teeny tiny wings, and looks more like a cutesy kind of dragon, and he can't really talk, he just kind of makes noises, mm -hmm. but Elliot, or, but Pete understands him, and, um, Elliot can go invisible, so, like, he's his only, he's Pete's only friend, and then I think Pete finally decides to run away from the forest, and then he, he goes to the closest city, and, like, this teacher finds him, and she kind of, like, takes him in, I think, and they're trying to figure out what's up with the dragon, it. I think, but he's invisible, and I think slowly they start kind of, um, Elliot can't get away with just following Peter around in the city, mm -hmm. so people start freaking out, and I think it eventually becomes a problem, and I, f I forget, like, the main, like, conflict in the plot, but... In the end, everything ends up ends up being fine. Yeah, Elliot. I, uh, I remember having trouble with this part. 
Anyways, continue. Um, Elliot ends up, like, helping save the town and, like, finding, like, the teacher's lost love. I didn't even think they're gonna have that because it doesn't... Like, they're, they're like, kind of a seafaring town. And it doesn't really look like that in the movie, but I can't really tell. And it it's also looks weird because Elliot looks like an actual dragon, like... Or as opposed to in the real in the original, he's like a cartoony, isn't he? Yeah, and I mean he is CG'd in this one, but he has you know normal dragon sized wings. But in the in the movie, he his wings were so little he didn't really fly fly a lot. So, and it doesn't seem like um, the way they say it, they say that they found a kid, like, in the forest by himself. So I don't know if he, they're going to have him have, like, run away from a family or not. Or I guess we'll find out. But I don't really want to see it in theaters. I kind of just want to wait and see it maybe, like, on Redbox or something. We'll wait all the way until it comes out for Netflix for me. <laughs> yeah, I have no interest in that movie. Um, but the things you said sounds like that's the point. Yeah, Pete's Dragon was never really one of my favorites. Um, it's cute, but it, I think this one will just be really different. Probably to make it more interesting. Because yeah. back then, I think movies could get away with being like really slow-paced like that. Um, People didn't have high expectations. Yeah. Like crazy stupid 3D, I mean uh, crazy stupid graphics. Yeah. Um... But, yeah, I'm not really super interested. <laughs> um, I don't know what else I'd want to see. I'm ch it's funny, because when, when I'm asked, like, oh, what are some of my favorite Disney movies? I'm, like, trying to go through my head, and I'm like, there's so many, but I can't think of one. Do you go through, as in, like, there's so many Disney movies, you can't pick which one, or just... Like, I just start to forget because I'm just, like, thinking of all of them at the same time. <laughs> uh, I'd like to see... Um, just because it's my favorite Disney movie. Um, and she forgets the name of her favorite Disney movie. I What's thought, it? uh, The Little Mermaid was your favorite. Um, I'm kind of outgrown that. Oh, really? Did I, uh... I'd want to see a Princess and the Frog one. That's the one that I was... Because that's one of my f like newer favorites, I and she it's so underrated. It really is. He's supposed to pull this. Ariel was my favorite as a as a kid kid, and then in high school, Belle was my favorite because I related to her more, mm. and I loved how she didn't want to be like everybody else, and she didn't care that she was different, and she loved books, and. Then when Princess and the Frog came out, I just became obsessed with Tiana and like her outlook on life and like getting ahead. And I was like, I can relate the most to you. <laughs> so that's why Tiana and Belle are my favorite. My favorite. Editing magic, now! Did you check out that editing magic? It's awesome, look, I did it. I snapped my fingers and I did the whole thing. <laughs> it's great. Yes. Um. Shiny! Huh. Um. One. I. Okay, so I te technically I'm. I got a new thing at work. I'm in. I'm kind of new to work, sort of in a way. And one of my coworkers. Is. Very new at work. Yes, and one of my coworkers is really excited about the Warcraft movie. Yeah. Like, He's uh he's gonna call in and everything. Oh wow. Yeah. Um He probably has enough time to ask for it all. <laughs> yeah, he has like thirty something hours of sick pay, so he figured one out. You know? Yeah. But I guess he's really excited for this movie. Ben was really excited for it. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to stay down, um, but I mean, stay up there, but that clearly didn't happen, so. <laughs> um, ben was really excited to see it. I wasn't 
I was at first, and then the more I saw the trailers, I was like, they could do so much better, because I think they're at the point where, like, I think the Assassin's Creed movie is going to do well because they're sticking with, like, the idea of the original games, but they're, like, not using the same characters and stuff. Uh -huh. They're kind of doing their own thing. I think WoW, it has so many... The world is so full, and it has its own quirkiness and humor and charm, and they're not putting any of that in the movie. It just kind of seems really serious. I'm die. Yeah. Um. Which is really unfortunate. <laughs> and they have so many different, like... They have so much to the lore, and I understand they're like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna do f something fresh with this, and we're just gonna start with the origin story of the orcs and the humans. But it's too war is r war. Wow is really colorful, and this movie isn't because the orcs and the humans aren't really that colorful, and they could have added like the night elves and all the other stuff if they were gonna spend all that money on CGI anyway, and or just use practical effects. And prosthetics and stuff. And um, I heard that it's good if it'll be fun for WoW fans that. <laughs> right as I pulled the trigger, he got me first. Oh, it'll be fun for WoW fans who want to see like their their favorite characters, for, at least in this. Some of their favorite characters be played by Hollywood actors, but other than that, it doesn't have the same as the game, which is really disappointing. So, I don't know. I think, I hope it doesn't discourage them or it disable them from making another one. Disabled. <laughs> I'm disabled. But I hope that they can make another one with more of the actual, more of the later, like, expansion pack parts of the game. Like the pandas? Like the pandas and then the Night Elves and the Blood Elves are really cool. They could- they should've had Sylvanas in it. She's awesome. And, yeah. And... The end of your rant. I yeah. wish I could contribute to that, but I can't because I know nothing about Warcraft. I don't know that much about it. You know a lot more than I do. But yeah, but... <laughs> not that much. <laughs> but, uh... Well, I'm sorry. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about uh, Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. Me too. I hope, I hope it's great. Because I think it has the potential to be great. But I'm not sure. Because, um, I don't know. There's just something about video game movie adaptations that just always go sour. Yeah, I mean, Resident Evil. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, Super Mario? <laughs> that Super Mario. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, that was shit. Do you know that uh, um, halfway into the movie, the actors knew this movie was going to be horrible, so they decided to make a game out of it, and uh, they... They were basically drunk through half of the movie. Really? Yeah, and um, John Leguizamo was overdid it a little while they were doing a truck driving scene. Oh god. And uh, they got into, he ended up slamming the door to one of the trucks and it, he ended up breaking his co-star's on hand. Oh no. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah. still thought it was funny though. That is pretty hilarious. This movie's gonna suck, let's get drunk. Cause we're not getting paid. <laughs> yeah. We ain't gonna make a lot of money off of this. You know what? I don't blame them though. Cause like, Mario Brothers. It's a big franchise. They thought... They thought though. They thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Alright, well... See if I can get through these fucking assholes? Yeah! That. Except <laughs> <laughs> Richard. So pissed. Which one is again? Like we fight <gasps> to the death. Oh, I ran towards it. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I ran towards it.